I'm Charles Martinet, and now it's time for Bit Trip Presents Runner 2, Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. Woohoo! Ladies and gentlemen of the wonderful so called internet, how's it going? My name's Icy, and welcome back for yet another episode of the Gaming Express, your first impression series. Welcome back, and on today's episode, we're gonna be trying out Bit Trip Runner 2. It's a wonderful game, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So, let's start start this game up. Oh man, so first thing off, you can use this game using a controller, but for this video, I'm gonna be using my keyboard and mouse because I always, always love to play my platformers with my mouse and keyboard. Although that is not entirely true because I do play a few of those on my PSP. When last PSP. we left Commander Video, his courageous contingent of charismatic compatriots was in hot pursuit of the fiendish Timbletot as they chased him into a realm above realms called the Hypersphere. It is at this moment, as if from nowhere, that a nefarious reality unfusion beam blindsides these five fearless friends. The always imperturbable Commander Video, shielding his elite assemblage of exceptional allies, takes the brunt of the blast and is sucked into an unknown dimension. A land of wondrous imagination, found only at the apex of light and matter. A wavelength of the optical spectrum opened by the maniacal Timbletot to trap and enslave our gallant protagonist. Confused and companionless, our hero ponders his current position. The only thing that remains clear to him now is that he has fallen prey to a vulgar scheme full of villainy which he must vanquish. And that was the intro. I really love uh, the voice act, the narration for the intro, and it was really something. Uh, that voice really sounded familiar, but I can't really tell who it is who was speaking. But either way, it was fantastic. I love the accent and all. Um, so before we start up this game, let's look at the options as usual. Ugh, the art of this game is just wonderful. So you actually have a little guide on how to play the game. So you don't have to bonk, cross the finish line. And if you click, press your E button, you can look at more stuff. Find new friends. You can play basically five characters, or actually, no, I'm wrong. There are eight playable characters in this game available, and you can collect outfits, unlock new levels, retro levels, which will I think we will be seeing in this video. Um, that will only that'll that will depend on whether I play this game perfectly or not. If I don't, then uh, no retro levels for this video, unfortunately. Controls! So these are your keyboard and controller controls. And as you can see here, we have a few controls to learn. Um, but we won't be using... We won't be using all of them on the first level. And finally, we have settings. So you can set up your video settings and audio settings to your own liking, but I'm going to leave it as it is and without... Oh, and if you wish to look at the credits, you can always click that, but I'm not going to do it, obviously, because, well, I want to play this game. Let's do it! So, as you can see here, I've already completed the first level of the Walken Wonderland. And I'm on to the, the Emerald Brine, so I have not... I've already played this game quite a lot, but... The since Wonderland. you guys don't know anything about this game, well, some of you don't, I'm gonna show you... The wonderful... The wonderful, wonderful thing... thing... what? What am I saying? I don't even know. But, let's start up with uh, the Stratostar, which is the first... What am I doing? Just right. Rather hard. Quite easy. No, just right. So I'm going to be playing this at the normal level. Oh, goodness Realizing gracious. the gravity of the situation, Commander Video plummets back through the layers of a once-known reality and into the soft, bulbous bosom of a new one. Unsure of the outcome, but retaining optimism, our hero is guided to his skyward perch and thus begins his stay in the Welkin Wonderland. Yes, indeed, my friends, the welcome wonderland, the welcome or welcome wonderland. Not sure what he said, what the first word was, but anyway, we are gonna play this game and enjoy it to its fullest. Oh, God. 
So as you can see, I'm using the J key to jump. And honestly, I I find this game kind of kind of annoying uh, visually because my eyes aren't used to playing uh, th these kind of platformers where everything just moves. And it's really hard to focus, honestly, when you've got everything in the background moving, except for the um, the image, the clouds in the back there. Uh, but it's really hard to focus in this game because you have you you're constantly running and you're not keeping other objects in focus. Um, what I'm trying to say is that while you're focusing on avoiding things that are nearby you, um, sometimes you're not prepared for for obstacles that are kind of far away and um, at times you'll find these special patterns of obstacles where um, you literally just screw up everything you there will be those series of con obstacles where that are just amazingly difficult and when you learn even more uh, keys on your from your keyboard it just it, it becomes a really uh, aggravating experience but it's fun nevertheless and platformers are should be about you know progression and increasing difficulty um, I might not make any sense right now uh, and that's only because I'm not it's hard to focus and and play and speak at the same time but I've done this for quite a while already so I should be used to it by now so as you can see I cleared that level easily so the only key we used for that level was the jump key. So I'm just gonna skip a few here and get to the circus right away and show you some of the other keys as well. And also, you can switch out costumes. If you've discovered costumes in-game, then you can obviously um, make your character look as cool as you want it to be. But I don't really care. I honestly, for, for platformers, I don't think the cosmetic options were necessary for this game um, and I don't I don't see the purpose of cosmetic outfits in platformers or in any offline game but that's just me I'm just a boy I'm being a boy I don't need them outfits oh goodness gracious I completely completely forgot how to duck oh the S key that makes sense now so the art of this game is very endearing, um, it's very unusual, and it was made, this game was made, holy crap, I'm really bad. The game was made by a company called Gaijin Games, which I'm not sure if that's a Japanese company or not. I haven't studied my, my video game information for this video, but, uh, I did, I do remember the Bit Trip Runner 2 being released, and wow, I'm really bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, the Bit Trip Runner 1 was very different from the the new one, the sequel. The sequel is has a 3D feel, whereas the Bit Trip Runner 2 had a 2D had 2D graphics, and what the developers have done with this game is very simple. They've just improved the graphics, but they have kept the original gameplay and the game features intact. Um, they have added some new stuff like new outfits and new levels, but all that is just complimentary. And they've just, they really m managed to make this game easy to play and make it endearing and successful. Bit Trip Runner 2 1 was was very successful, which really helped the sequel. Uh, what am I even talking about? Whew, it's really hard to talk and play at the same time. I feel like I'm I'm stuttering or something. But what I'm trying to get at is that uh, the game, this game itself, is really simple, and there is really nothing complicated to understand you just have to pick up your you have to learn how to oh, whew, I can't it is impossible you really have to learn how to play um, it just takes practice to avoid things in this game and to do it with with, with speed and accuracy um, and it also memory also has to do has takes 
Ah, woo, ah, cannot talk when I'm concentrating like this and like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you have to memorize some patterns as well. If you if you are going to screw up, then you better remember what patterns of obstacles are going to be coming up. And you just have to try and try and try until you get it, till you complete the level. This game is all about trial and error because, well, it's a platformer. And all platformers are that way, are made so that you screw up and learn how to play effectively and you learn how to become more effective in your in your actions and sequences button sequences holy crap that sent me right to the checkpoint by the way uh here's another cool thing about this game is that you have you have checkpoints which are usually midway in level in the levels which is a really good thing because if if you were to screw up something, you would be sent back to way to the beginning, to the start of this map, which would be really frustrating if, if that happened. If they hadn't added checkpoints, then I, I honestly would be really mad. But that wouldn't stop me from playing this game, actually. I, I have this weird relationship with platformers, love-hate relationship, where I really just hate playing them. But I keep playing them on and on and on because I really want to... I, I just have it in my gut that I I just really want to complete all of the platformers. And it, it's really fun to... Ugh! God damn it! You little piece of shit! Why won't you let me through? Um, I just have to jump, that's all. <laughs> but um, this game is really simple and th the developers have made it so, so original by, w just with the art itself, the game is very interesting, and the fact that you jump at the rhythm of the mute, really? I screw up every time at that point, <sighs> but, uh, what was I talking, what was I talking about? Oh, uh, the music, uh, really matches the way you jump and duck and all of these sorts of things it's a rhythm based platformer and I don't think I've ever seen a platformer do that where the music synchronizes with the action sequences that you execute oh wow that was unexpected but um, yeah I've never seen a platformer that was rhythm based so that's that is probably the most unique aspect of this game as you, as you might have noticed already from the beginning of this video. Ah! Uh, how? How do I keep screwing up? Okay, let's focus. Da-da-da-dum, da-da-da-dum, da 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 near near I'm gonna pick up all of these gold bars. Wow, I don't, I don't have any sense of rhythm. Let's go. Okay, I'm focusing, jumping, getting that extra thing. I don't even know what it is. I never, I've never managed to understand what the red blocks are. Are they like med kits or just random red cubes? I don't even know. But we finished this level with success. And that's all that matters. <laughs> but um, another good thing that is coming up for this game is that th this game is actually being ported for the PlayStation Vita. And that's actually a fantastic idea that they're doing that because it's a, this game is really simple. It does not require a lot of understanding and you only have so you, you have a few keys to under to learn to to um, what am I trying to say? God damn it. You have about 10 keys to use. And you don't need it anymore, right? So that's about how much you have on the PlayStation Vita or the PSV or whatever they're going to be porting on. Probably on the PS Vita. Um, and uh, what am I trying to explain to you guys? Let's see. I'm going to pick this guy. Um, wow. Are we going to play this level or not? <laughs> but... 
butt, 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 big butts. I lost my train of thought. Can you, can you believe it? And I just jumped into dead space. Now, what was I trying to explain? God fucking damn it. But yeah, the game really deserves, this series in general, the BitTrip Runner series really deserve recognition for for what they, oh, God, God, I keep, I keep stop. I keep I keep stop. How do how did I make sense right there? How I keep stop. No. Okay, I'm just gonna I love and hate platformers. Here we go. Yeah, uh this game is really well paced and every level as you complete every map uh, the speed of the map increases, which is pretty obvious because, well, the game progresses and increases in difficulty as you clear levels. And I can't imagine playing more of these maps for this game because I'm already screwing up trying to talk to you guys. I probably, I usually do better when I'm not multitasking. I'm a very, very, um, wow, I can't even see. I can't talk or play at the same time, especially if it's a platformer. But if it's a turn-based game or an RPG, well, I, I would gladly be able to do it. Oh, God. Kicking, jumping, ducking. No! Why? Why? I do not understand. It keeps happening to me. Maybe I'm just being dumb. That's a, wow. I really just bashed my face into that wall of wood. Ugh. But yeah, for it's a this is a really simple game, and it and it's just really refreshing. It has cool art, nice fresh music that really matches the gameplay, and it's a cool idea. Doesn't require a lot of thinking I did not make sense again because I just made a mistake again great job Isington okay I'm gonna focus what how I was kicking into the wall okay I'm, I'm gonna jump gonna forget about what happened do the same thing over and oh you know what it is here's another thing about this game you can't hold certain keys forever, like I do right now. When I'm trying to press the K button, which is the kick button. Ah! Um, what was I saying? <laughs> when you're holding buttons, they don't... Uh, the actions don't last forever, basically. So, like, if you kick, you, could, you can't kick forever. So you have to hit the button at the right moment so that you can get through that wall successfully. Come on. And that's, that's, oh, the, 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 the. and this is also why you have to follow the rhythm at times because if you, if you don't, you're gonna be screwing up certain action sequences like the following. Beep, 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 oh my God. I'm never gonna follow the rhythm, am I? Okay. Putting on my game face. Ducking, kicking, jumping, ducking. God damn it. Okay, one more time. We're focusing. Jumping, ducking, jumping, ducking, kicking, jumping, ducking. Uh, how did I screw up? I was hitting my jump key. Okay, in all seriousness. I'm focusing. Jumping, ducking, jumping, ducking, kicking, jumping, ducking, kicking. Ah! I made it! I fucking made it. And I said fucking because I'm really annoyed by certain things in this game, but I love and hate platformers. As you already know. 
Oh god, I don't want to fail this part. Ah! Uh, I got all the golden bars. I did. And that's all that matters. Okay, ducking, jumping, jumping, ducking, jumping, and jumping on that trampoline with the W key. Woo! I almost got it, guys. Just a few more gold bars. I missed one. I did. Oh, goodness gracious. We can do it. One, two, three, four, five. And amazing accomplishment indeed. That was great. Although I did not talk about the actual game. I was just yelling what I was supposed to do. So we got almost everything except for one goal bar. Um, and getting the perfect score is also a primordial key feature in this game because you will want to get the most gold bars in order to access harder levels, which makes perfect sense. And uh, so we're going to try out the boss, actually, and show you how the bosses work out in this game. I want to do that right meow. Right meow. Did I? Oh, I always confuse my keys in this game for some reason. So, here we go. Now, this is one of my favorite parts of this game because you don't actually avoid sequ- Well, you do avoid certain obstacles, but they're moving obstacles in this um, boss level, at least. You'll see in a second. See? Yeah! Shooting those cannonballs at me, but... I'm avoiding all of his, his attacks. Oh god. I can do it. Oh! I completely forgot about that trampoline. So yeah, you, you basically avoid obstacles and then you have to jump on the trampoline here so that the, this guy gets uh, staggered and weakened by some other obstacle that he will hit on his own. Let's see, come on, woo! See, that just happened. The way that worked out was really funny. <laughs> this game is so creative and artistic. I just really love uh, the design. The game is very colorful and refreshing. It doesn't take it se it doesn't take itself seriously at all. And oh man, how did I screw that up? Um, and it's a game that everyone should play. I mean, really, stop playing Angry Birds on your smartphones and get this game. Get a goddamn PS Vita and play the game when it comes out for that handheld console. Oh god. We did it! We completed this boss level. So you actually have to beat him three times. And it worked like a charm. Woo! Oh, here's another uh, bonus feature in every level. Now, if you get a perfect score, you get to have a bonus chance at getting an additional score. And I'm going to try to hit the bullseye, which I will probably fail. I did not! Woo! It's all because of you guys. You gave me luck. Yeah, perfect score. So that was that is basically the entirety of the game is completely completing levels, avoiding obstacles. It's a platformer, very colorful platformer, and the graphics were surely improved from its prequel. And uh, the, devel the developers managed to create something really refreshing and, and fun. Um, now, I also... Yeah, yeah, sir. I know what this level's called. Wait. Actually... The Welkin w Wonderland. The Welkin Aha! Wonderland. Yep, yep. I, I knew that. Don't... Don't say otherwise. Oh! I, uh... I, I stopped myself from burping. I'm too good at, at this game. So, let's see if I can actually find... This retro level that I wanted to show you guys. 
And actually, I'm gonna exit the level, which you can do with the escape button, of course. How do you get there? I forgot. We were doing this level. I remember doing this level and seeing one of those, um, an extra level somewhere. So we're gonna try to get it, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh! I wasn't even looking at the screen! <laughs> I was just mm, thinking about something else. Wow, I'm really bad at focusing sometimes. Okay, so, um, in this game you'll find retro levels which are kind of fun. Um, they don't really, they, they aren't game changing or anything. Ah, here we go. But, the, oh, my favorite part about this is the art itself. The pixelized uh, background and everything. And it kind of actually looks 3D. If you, if you kind of, if you look in the background, in the distance, um, there's this optical illusion uh, that will give you, what am I trying to say? Oh, it, it's, uh, it, it looks 3D, it, it kind of look, looks 3D. If you look in, god damn it, if you kind of, if you don't look at your own character, but if you look at the gold bars as you're moving, it kind of, it seems as though there is a, a 3D um, effect going on in the background. Yeah, which is pretty cool, and uh, I really love this level because it, it, the, of the music, and it's very chip tuney. I don't know, that, this is my favorite part about this game. And, by the way, uh, if you lose all of your hearts, which are on your at your top left corner of your screen, then you won't be able to clear this level. Because if you hit something, you lose a heart, and if you lose all of your hearts, you die. No, you don't die, but you are, you are basically warped out out of this level without an additional score. Game over, yeah! I am bad at this game, ain't I? Oh. Actually, I was wrong. You don't get warped out and warped back into the level, but you get warped out of the the entire level. That's how it is. Um, let's take a look at... What am I trying to find? Oh, so in order to unlock costumes, you also have to collect keys, which you can... The icon is shown there at the top left corner. And outfits will will usually be uh, found inside treasure boxes, so that's how it is. Um, but I don't really find any enjoyment in collecting outfits, to be honest. So a lot of people like that kind of stuff. Some people don't. I really enjoy platforms um, for their gameplay and their story, perhaps. But otherwise, any other features like that involves con cosmetics or uh, I don't know really. I, I enjoy mini games, but I like the retro level that we just did. But I don't like collecting stuff. That's that's something that I don't enjoy at all. It depends on the game, I would say, really. So let's try out this first level for the first time, just for fun. And see if I screw up on the first try. Oh, god damn it. Why do I keep pressing the wrong button? Okay. Big giant whale. Once again, in a fishy predicament, our daring friend cools it off and waits for this cetaceous old saw to sing into the emerald brine. Oh, jeez. The whale pooped us out. That happened. Okay. Um, if I do fail on the first try, then it's basically the end of the video. Oh, I really have to dance? What? Oh my god, that is so funny! That is so funny. Oh, Jesus. So I guess it's just an optional uh, key. 
dancing is not necessary. Oh, God. Let's try not to die, because I really, well, that happened. But I danced, and that was something. I, I didn't know he could dance in this video. In, in this video. I mean, in this game. That's what I meant to say. Um, I mean, it makes sense that you can dance since there's uh, music playing all along in the background in every goddamn level. But guys, uh, I really recommend you get this game. It's a really good one. Uh, it only costs you about $14.99. That's right. And if you get the soundtrack, the official soundtrack, you, you basically pay $19.99 for the soundtrack with the game. Um, the game was made around February 2013, which is pretty re this is a pretty recent game, and I, th I believe it was announced at a gaming convention, but not PAX East. I do know that for sure. And uh, this game got a score of 9 on 10 by IGN and 85% on Metacritic, but uh, I mean, eh, I don't really like ratings and... If I had to rate this game, personally, I would rate it 4 on 5. Or actually, 4.5 4. on 5. No, 4 on 5. Because there is really not much of a story, but at the same time, it's not necessary to always have a story in a platformer, especially. So, I guess I could rate this as 4.5, yeah. Out of 5 stars. Well, guys. That is all I had to show you for today's episode. Make sure to like, comment, talk about the actual game, and I'll see you for next week's episode. See you later, folks. Goodbye.